This is Duke University. So what is behavioral uh, economics? Uh, behavioral economics is a discipline that is interested in the same question that the economics is interested in, uh, but without assuming that people are rational. Okay? Now, in, in reality, many people think of behavioral economics as uh, being against classical economics. <clears throat> but a better way to think about it is not against, it's a complement. Hello, I'm behavioral economics. And I'm standard economics. Isn't this a wonderful world that we live in? People are always making rational decisions all the time, not letting their emotions cloud their judgment, and always thinking about the future. I, I just don't see it this way. How can you see it this way? So the real goal of behavioral economics is to say, when you study economics, study economics. That's great. It's a wonderful thing. When you're studying sociology, study sociology. But when you come to policy, let's not just consider economics. Because while economics has some value, some explanatory power, it's not everything. So when it comes to policy, when you want to answer questions that society should care about, we should think about a broader range, a broader picture, a broader perspective that doesn't just include a rational person. We should also include what we know about human nature, which is that we are myopic and sometimes irrational and we have all these quirks in our behavior. We see stock bubbles. We see people overextending themselves on credit cards. We see people taking mortgages they shouldn't be taking. I just don't see where this rationality is coming from. But my model is so much cleaner. I have formulas and uh, algorithms and chi-squares and standard deviations. What do you have? I have experiments. I have experiments that tell us what we can do and can't do, how people actually make decisions, and what we're good at and when we are actually irrational. Economics, in some sense, is more optimistic about human nature because we're rational, we're thoughtful, we compute everything. And behavioral economics is a little bit depressing in the sense that we say people are myopic, easily confused, uh, have emotions, don't know what they want, uh, and so on. The, the silver lining in all of this is that in standard economics, there's nothing we can do to better the human condition, right? Because everything has already been done. We're like Superman of the mind. Superman, I think we're more like Homer Simpson of the mind. We make mistakes, we're confused, we can't think about the future, we fall in love, we're vindictive. There's all kinds of mistakes we make all the time. But the good thing about being Homer Simpson is that if we recognize where we are Homer Simpson, if we recognize where we make cognitive mistakes, where we fall short, we can actually think about how to improve the world. And that, for me, is again the, the kind of promise of behavioral economics, is to say let's kind of figure out where people don't behave perfectly, and let's try and think about crutches. Let's think about mechanisms to help them with those particular aspects, help us with those particular aspects.